Hey, check out this chart. U.S. carbon emissions soared during the Bill Clinton years, got worse under George Bush, dropped under Barack Obama, dropped even lower with Trump, and rose with Biden. LMAO, Trump was the greenest president. And how did he do it? Frack, 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 frack. Holy frack. Holy frack. Oh, frack. My mouth is blown away by the snurf of sights lying here to say, I don't know about him, I got. Clinton bombed the hell out of Yugoslavia. The Bush destroyed Iraq and started a 20-year war in Afghanistan. Obama inherited those wars and started four or five new ones. I lost count. Bombed Yemen, bombed Somalia, bombed Libya into a Stone Age, failed state hellhole. Same for Syria. He even bombed a wedding. Hell, he eventually ran out of bombs to drop. Trump gets in and no new wars. Woohoo! Trump stopped the war in Syria, but Biden bragged, America is back. A meaning, of course, new rounds of airstrikes. Biden broke Trump's peace treaty for Afghanistan, keeping the war going long enough for the Taliban to kill more Americans and capture $85 billion worth of weapons and equipment. We choose truth over facts. Now he risks starting World War III and has spent $200 billion of taxpayer money keeping the Ukrainian war going long enough for 300,000 Ukrainians to get needlessly slaughtered as millions more go homeless. Okay, breathe. Now, despite those wars, the legacy media outlets push the narrative that Trump is like Hitler. CBC is a major offender. I'm not surprising since I already did a video entitled The CBC Hates Your Guts. It's hilarious that the CBC thinks any of its audience these days even cares about Hillary Clinton's opinions. If anyone believes Trump is Hitler, wake up! You're the fascist! Yeah, that's you. And to Hillary Clinton, and I know you watch my channel, girl, Greta Thunberg called. She wants her dress back. How dare you! Olivia Chow blames Toronto's flooding on climate change. That's kind of scary, you believe me. And says every dollar government invests into climate change will return 13 to 15 dollars. Olivia Chow has to be one of the dumbest and most incompetent mayors in all of Canada. <laughs> yeah, the city that once brought in the army to shovel the snow is now raising taxes to fight global warming. Bill Gates. The ironic author of How to Avoid a Climate Disaster. I'd probably have one of the highest greenhouse gas footprints of anyone on the planet. You know, my, my kind of personal flying uh, alone is gigantic. Hey viewers, how naive are you and your friends? Does your popularity depend on your stupidity? How can you believe any of this climate change nonsense when the people pushing it are the biggest hypocrites and the greediest grifters? Uh, asking for a friend. Well, he's dead, so, uh, you know, in general, you always have to be careful. Uh, How dare you? You tub. Bad videos. Turn my pharma. Bad pharma girls, you make the rockin' world go round. So what do fat bottom girls have to do with agony, ecstasy, and drama? <laughs> well, you tell me. I promised shameless self-promotion, and I delivered as this is a thumbnail for the video that tells the hilarious story of my channel. On YouTube, click the end screen in the top left. Bah! Who am I kidding? Just click dislike and defecate on me in the comments. How dare you!